don't know if we're going to make this a full-fledged segment, but it does bear mentioning, though. And how nice was it to wake up this morning and get a very beautiful message from Steve Burns of Blue's Clues fame, a guy who's, like, pretty much fallen off the radar, who's been, you know, the burden of millions of internet rumors and everything. Man, I woke up at 4.30 today to go to work, and I, like, usually have about five to ten minutes to myself where I can just sit on my phone and catch up, like, you know, how did the world shift when I when I went to bed for, like, eight, seven hours or whatever? And Steve Burns was trending, and I saw this video, and it was a very inspiring video to wake up to, wouldn't you say? Dude, it honestly made my day. It might even make my week. Like, just waking up to that, it was like, wow, dude, I literally got transported back to when I was a kid, waking up to watch Blue's Clues, to watch Steve, like, tell me, like, you know, some lessons and read some letters and all these other things. It was just like, damn, that was pretty cool. Like, thank you, Nickelodeon. <laughs> Yeah, that was something. That was really something. And like, I was just getting ready to go to work and I was driving to work, listening to music. It's like 4.45 in the morning. And I'm just thinking like, you know what? I have come a long way. Absolutely. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> you know, like that, that was nice. Then I saw just before the show, about a half hour before the show, I saw on TikTok, there was a video of like Steve with Donovan, Donovan Patton, I think his name is the guy yeah. who played Joe, um, who replaced him. And then Josh, who like I've seen, but I don't really know. I don't have, I don't have, I don't have me, me and Steve go way back, like four seats in a Cadillac. I can't tell you about Josh. This Josh character over here. I He's for the young bloods. <laughs> I, I saw He's that. for the youths. I saw but... that. Like it's all them blowing out a cupcake for like the, I get Cause it was the 25th anniversary of blue Spoos, Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. They blew right. out the cupcake and I was just like, okay, I know Steve. I kind of stopped watching it when Joe came. I don't know what the hell this guy is. I'm like, he was maybe like from like the new generation um, before it got like officially just done when like they made Blue, I think, CG or like it was like a full on mm -hmm. like uh, animation with Blue only. I don't know. It was cool to see that though. It was. Um, definitely very inspiring and like, I don't know. I generally don't like those videos, like these videos where it's like, hey, have you eaten today? You're beautiful. Like, you can't see shit. I always hate those. Those videos grind my gears. It's the same with those Facebook graphics that say the same thing. Yeah. And I, and I, this is not a very popular opinion because I know that, like, you know, for some people they work. But, like, when I see these graphics, like, hey, did you eat today? Did you wash your face? This and that. Hey, you got a nice ass. I always I hate that stuff. I feel like it's patronizing, you know, but, like, when it was Steve and we haven't seen him in a while, I know he's in a band and stuff like that. He's been in a band for a while. Um, you know, what's kind of weird too, is like the way he's like aged and he's aged pretty well, but he's, he lost his hair and stuff like that. You know who he kind of looks like now, if you look up like contemporary pictures of Frankie Muniz, he kind of looks like Frankie Muniz in a weird way. Like they both kind of like lost their hair in the, in, in the similar fashion and then they're around the same age. So I don't know. I just feel like those two, like, you know, like, like there's, there's a sitcom to be made with Burns and Muniz on that <laughs> note. He's such a, sorry, Frankie Muniz is such a baby face and Steve is kind of too. So I guess you're right on that. And more so the face than the hair thing. I'm not crazy. Am I? No, I mean, just the way they've aged, dude, like, they both have that baby face, but, like, they both lost their hair. Like, Frankie Muniz lost his hair fairly recently, and it's kind of sad what ha what's happened to Frankie Muniz. He was one of my favorite actors growing up. That was a guy that's, like, I always wanted to be cool, as cool as Frankie Muniz, you know? But don't sleep on Pizza Man, either, the superhero movie he did. If you don't know, now you know. Uh, Frankie Muniz and Pizza Man. If you haven't seen that, uh, I recommend that one.